So in this first video, I'm just going to go through a few things uh, for me, what, what, what sort of started me. So um, initially, I um, got into acrylic etching um, and making those cool LED signs that you've probably seen across the internet. For me, I just thought, wow, they look amazing. It's almost like neon without being neon. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go and, and see what we can do. Um, did a few different things, which I'm going to post some pictures of right here. Um, give me a like if you like them. Um, and I just thought, you know what, it's, it's a fun thing to do. I can do it. Um, and then once I'd started doing a few of those, I thought, you know what, I need to actually think of a stand or a frame or something like that, which is where I've probably got more into the wood side of things. Um, watched a few YouTube videos on carving. Um, and, and that's what's got me sort of inspired really to start the journey with woodworking. Um, Initially, I've been doing my engraving and etching and things like that with a Dremel Stilo, uh, which has been working really well. Um, but I, I, I just thought for me, there's not enough power if I'm going to be going from glass and acrylic and things like that uh, to going into wood, softwood and also harder wood. So um, I actually made the choice to... Um, purchase a uh, Dremel 4000 uh, over Christmas um, and this is the unboxing video so I hope you enjoy if you've got any questions or comments please put them below um, and again if you like this video there's going to be a lot more coming out over the next year on different sort of carving tips and things like that what I've picked up what I've learnt um, don't get me wrong I'm no master carver or anything like that um, but I'm just starting this journey the same as you guys um, doing the same Probably, probably the same research, but if there's a few things that you can pick up um, and it helps you, then so be it. So here we go. The first one, um, I'll just show you guys the, the Stilo tool that I have been using um, and, and just give you a bit of a, an overview of that and what made me make the choice. And then we'll do an unboxing of the Dremel 4000. So yeah, guys, um, as I said, basically uh, when I started getting into this, it was mainly sort of acrylic LED signs, um, which I've started doing. Uh, there's an example. I just thought, wow, they look, they look so cool, and I'm sure I can actually do this. Um, you don't need to actually be an artist. As long as you can design something on a computer um, and find something you like, it's just as simple as attaching that to the back of a clear piece of acrylic um, and etching it in, really. Um, then I had to figure out, once I'd done that, how to make these little sort of LED stands, uh, which I've managed to do. Um, I'll do a video on that probably over the next few months. Um, but yeah, this is what really sort of started me off. Um, just doing a few different designs like this. Um, I've done a few for, for family and friends. And you know what? They make great gifts. Not the cheapest, if I'm being honest, when you factor in the cost of the acrylic, the wood um, and everything else. But do you know what? I think I think they're actually really good. Um, and for me, um, it's just a fun thing to do. Uh, they don't take too long. Um, just take your time, be careful, um, and you'll get great results. It's, 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 it's not rocket science. And I think that's why I sort of, this, this was actually my first piece that I did. Um, and it was actually for a cryptocurrency project called Linda, which is now rebranded. So it's a bit of a waste, but do you know what? I can't part with it because I love the tiger. Um, and it was the first one that I actually did, but yeah, this is what got me started. Um, so yeah, just, um, just simply acrylic um i bought it off ebay i think it was about two or three quid a sheet um and then literally etched all these designs into the back um with a dremel stilo so moving on uh this is the dremel stilo if you haven't seen it before really comfortable tool to actually use um it's literally it's like a pen when you hold it so you can get into the finer details um and it all depends what bits um you've got your speed control there at the bottom uh which is from one to five so you can go quite slow with it or it ramps it up to five which is a little bit faster um and as i say i've had no problems using this for um sort of lighter weight projects like what I've been doing with the, the acrylic etching um, and even some glass work that I've done. But I just don't think that this little Stilo has the power um, that I need progressing into wood and especially harder wood. So great little tool, um, great for fine details. I'm still gonna use this tool, um, but I'm probably gonna just use it for the more intricate parts or possibly even look at converting it just to be my sander. Um, because again, with the wood side of things, uh, doing a lot of research on the carvings and things like that, it's not just the carving, um, it's the sanding afterwards. And I think this would still be a great little tool to keep and use for that. But yeah, so far I've been using it for around about six months and not had any problems. Um, 
The only thing that it lacks a little bit, I would say, is power. Um, so that's why I managed to uh, make the decision this year to upgrade to the, uh, the 4000. So let's get on with that video. Right, first of all, guys, sorry about any dodgy um, camera photography here. I'm not the greatest on, on sort of videoing, but um, as I said, just going to do a quick review of the Dremel 4000. So this is what I got. This is the box. You'll see it exactly as I do for the first time. It's the 145 version, so I believe that means that we should get one flex shaft and a few 45 different accessories, including uh, the speed click, which is something that I'm looking forward to after watching a few videos. So yeah, this is this is it. Um, as it says on the box, you can carve, you can grind, polish, cut, sand, and do all sorts. So I'm actually really looking forward to this um, and hopefully using it for a lot of different wood projects. Um, so this is the box it came in. Um, on the back, it goes through what accessories you've got. So it'd actually be quite useful with Dremel if they actually named what the accessories were for, um, but they don't at the moment. So I know it comes with a flex shaft and all of these different accessories. So I'm gonna have a look at it. Make sure guys, if you're gonna buy one of these, shop around, because um, it was Christmas, so I actually bought this with Christmas money this year. Um, thought I'd treat myself. Um, and on sale in places like Argos and different shops like that, it was 110 pounds just for this. But then doing a bit of shopping around, exactly the same model, exactly the same box, it was only 75 quid at B&Q. So make sure you shop around um, to make sure you're getting the best deal. So here we go, let's open it up and see what we get. So here we go guys, opening the box now, let's see what's in it. Okay, so this is the pouch. It's not the hard case version, although I know that you can get um, different models and different boxes with different accessories uh, with the hard version. Uh, this is just simply the bog standard uh, Dremel 4000 tool. Um, so let's have a look and see what actually comes in the package. Okay, so there's nothing in that, but again, that could be useful possibly for keeping some bits in or something of that at a later stage. I actually quite like the carry case because it means it's somewhere where I can keep all of my Dremel items. Uh, with the stylo I've got, it didn't come with a case. So I just find that I leave that lying around and the bits get absolutely everywhere. So um, again, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to make um, a bit holder for it to just keep everything a little bit more organized and make sure I can tell the difference between my actual Dremel bits and the cheaper Chinese bits that I've, I, I use. Because for me, I have noticed a quality difference. I think with the Dremel bits, they do last longer. Um, so uh, again, I want to be able to differentiate between the cheaper Chinese ones that I ordered um, and my Dremel ones that I've got, because I think the Dremel ones actually so far are proving that they're worth the money. So here we go, opening up. This is what it looks like when you first get in. So here's the tool, um, the Dremel 4000 as such. Um, Again, sorry about the crappy camera, ca camera, camera ship, but this is it. This is the tool. So um, I believe it goes up to sort of 35,000 uh, 35, revs, which is should give me um, enough power um, for doing sort of harder and soft woods. Um, on off button, you've got your chuck and your collar, which comes on most of the Dremel devices. Um, little hanging clip. Um, so you can hang it up when using the flex shaft, which is probably what I'm going to be doing most of the time, if I'm being completely honest. Um, some air vents there to make sure it doesn't overheat. But yeah, it seems like seems robust, um, not too heavy um, and something that I could work with. Um, I think if I'm being honest with you, probably wouldn't be using the flex shaft for um, heavier stuff, but actually like cutting and doing things like that with wood. But actually, it's not as heavy, um, it's, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. It feels like it's well built. Um, it feels like it's built to last. And I think you get a 12 month warranty with these, uh, which I will be registering for just in case. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's, it's, it's quite a handy tool. Um, right, let's have a look at what else we got in here. So instruction manual, uh, but me being a typical bloke, I probably won't read any of that. I'll just go straight into it or look at other YouTube videos. Um, just showing you the other ones. Um, just to point out guys as well, with the with the 4000s, I know that there's a, a new sort of 8000 model as well, which is um, a battery version. But again, for me, if I'm gonna be doing sort of wood carving and things like that, I'm one of those people that gets lost in the moment and I don't wanna to have to wait another couple of hours for a battery to recharge. So that's why I went with the wired model, the 4000. Um, and I think it should do well. So in the pack, basically that is your flex shaft. 
Um, so basically, this part attaches to your Dremel tool, um, and then this part, um, which is what I was looking forward to looking at actually, um, is what you will actually be carving with. And actually, compared to the the Stilo that I have been using, if I can just grab that as a comparison, um, it's actually smaller and lighter. So that's another reason why I was interested in getting the, the, the 4000, um, just because, again, the Stilo is very comfortable in the hand, but if, the, if you can get the same results with a smaller version um, that, again, fits in your hand really nicely like this, um, I think it will help with sort of intricate details and things like that. So, yeah, re really impressed with that. It's, it's slightly smaller than the Stilo. It actually feels really, really lightweight in your hand as well. So uh, really good tool, hopefully. Um, all right, moving on. Um, lots of different accessory information there from Dremel about the different bits because, of course, they want you to buy them all. And I'm sure they've all got very good uses. Um, this is the driver cap that comes, which you will need to um, attach your flex shaft basically to your main tool. So basically, in a nutshell, the collar comes off, this comes off, you screw that on, and then you can actually screw this part directly into there to attach the flex shaft. Um, so yeah, really good design, happy with that. And let's have a look at the accessories that come with it. So little tiny box that you get. Um, now, the other thing that I was quite excited by when I got saw the box was it does actually come with Dremel's Easy Speed Clip Pro, um, saw discs and things like that. So yeah, sorry about this shoddy camera work, I know. Uh, but yeah, it's a massive bonus that it does come with the Easy Click system. Um, so yeah, just having a look in here at the different accessories that come with it. Um, you have, let's have a look, lots of little sanding discs that come with it. Um, you've got different mandrels, you've got What's this? Uh, different, I think that's either a wire, no, that's a nylon brush. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a couple of different grinding wheels for doing any grinding and things like that. I've also found that when I have done wood projects, they actually work quite well if you need to sort of get a load of the splinters off the wood and things like that. So here's your, um, oh, again, another grinding stone, which again could be quite useful. Um, again, more and more of these little sanding discs which fit into one of the different mandrels that you get. Lots of these little round um, sanding Dremel um, discs, if you like. Um, now, I've, I've looked at a load of reviews on these, and actually, they're meant to be really good. However, they also wear out very fast. So whether I'm going to be using those for the wood carving or whether I'm going to improvise is something that I'm still deciding at the moment. But all in all, they've got good reviews. Um, so I'm sure I'll at least use these ones that I've got um, and go from there. What's this? Uh, looks like a bit of polishing compound that comes with it as well for if you're going to be doing any sort of detailed polishing, things like that. Um, that's actually the mandrel to, to keep your um, sanding blocks in, if you like, when you're doing the sanding. Of course, the trusty Dremel spanner, because you can invest £75 in a brand new tool, but you won't have a spanner at home. <coughs> it's still really useful to just keep around. Um, and actually, when I go into making a, um, a place to hold all of my bits, I'll definitely be keeping that in there. What else have we got? This is the attachment which basically screws into um, the polishing pads and different polishing pads, which also have come with the Dremel. So these little things here, um, where if you're polishing metal, things like that, literally that felt pad will just screw into there. You'd then dip it into your polishing compound and away you go. Um, again, really useful. Um, again, one probably not to lose. So there we go. Um, this is the easy click system. Now, it's something that Dremel have done with regards to their sanding and cutting discs, which I think should simplify sort of changing things. So it's on um, a sort of a spring. And if you can see that sort of butterfly shape there, yeah, it's probably easy if I do it this way. But that butterfly shape, what is actually there, will actually fit into the disc. So if you look at these discs that it comes with, so you get a couple of these with it, um, that just fits in there. You turn it 45 degrees and it locks in. So really clever system and it should make things hopefully a lot quicker. So let's just see if there's anything I've missed in here. Again, different polishing pads that it's come with. Um, all in all, quite a few little bits. I was hoping there'd be a few engraving bits in there as well because there's something, oh, there's one. So there's one of the carbide 
um, wheel engraving bits, which I've actually found are really, really useful, um, especially for taking out material. Um, I've actually bought some additional bits when I bought the Dremel, um, just because I know I'm going to be wood carving, and I bought sort of different sizes of these because I know they're very good at taking the material out of wood. Um, so there we go. So we've got one of the large wheels. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. Again, it's New Year's Day, so I was up a bit, little bit late last night. Um, that seems like it's just a normal standard drill piece, so you can use the Dremel as a drill. I've actually got a Dremel set, which I did actually use with the Stilo, um, with sort of five different sizes, and so far, that's really, really useful. So I'll probably do another video on that um, at some point. Um, again, um, just um, another sort of mandrel there. Now, this one is what I'm actually thinking of using um, instead of using these when, when they run out. I saw a video um, a few weeks ago where somebody had literally got... Uh, different sort of grits of sandpaper, screwed it in, and then used that as the sanding device, which I think ultimately will work out a lot cheaper than using these, and I think it will last longer. So again, um, when I do do that, I'll do another video, so make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll put that video out there for you. What else have we got? So this one um, feels like more of a wire brush. Um, again, for your polishing, again, it looks like it uses the easy click system, which is really useful. Um, I'm going to be mainly doing sort of woodworking and things like that, so I don't know how much use that will be to me. But again, do you know what? It came with a kit, so I'm going to try it and see, see how we get on. Um, another grinding disc there as well, which can fit in. Um, another cutting disc. So all in all, actually, for the money you get quite a few different bits, and I think um, it's a great little starter kit. Um, I think I will add to it, and I'll just show you actually the pieces um, that I bought as additional pieces to go with it. But all in all, I think for the money, it seems like a really good tool, um, and I'm looking forward to, to trying it out over the next few weeks. So let me just grab those other bits that I purchased. Right, so the extra bits I decided to get was just purely gut feeling, if I'm being honest, whilst I was there. Um, I'm going to be doing, um, as I say, more wood carving, basically, with this Dremel tool, and that's what it's going to be used for. So, um, again, I just thought I'd get a few extra bits to keep me going. It saves me going backward and forward to the shop, to be honest with you. So the first one is uh, the Dremel 194, um, which I believe is classed as a tungsten carbide speed cutter. Um, Again, I think that would be really useful going into wood. Um, and again, every Dremel accessory has these little numbers on the top. So what I'm going to be doing, because once you've taken these out of the packet, if you really like a bit, it's hard to remember what it actually was. So on the stand that I'm going to build in, in a future video, I'm actually going to find a way to keep that number with the Dremel bit. So it helps remind me which piece I need if I do need to get any more. But again, um, the, what, the bits I've had from Dremel so far seem to last really well. So that's one of the ones I got. Um, I've got some more carbide cutting wheels which is the Dremel 107 which are actually really useful for sort of tracing designs onto wood or doing your lines and things like that. Packer 3 there um, which are I believe the larger ones that Dremel do. Again I found that really useful when etching lines into things like that. Um, hoping that I'll get the same results in wood. Um, I also got some almost microscopic wheels. It's hard to actually focus on them, they're so small. But I thought, do you know what, for finer details, they're going to be absolutely brilliant in wood. Um, and again, um, I think it's almost one millimetre or less, they're that small, and that's the Dremel 105. Um, so again, I think that's going to be really useful. There you go in the picture, just for outlining things um, and, and getting the designs on, really. And then the last one I got, it wasn't actually the one I wanted. Um, I was looking for the grout removal one because um, for me, that's quite a useful tool, I think, for sort of cutting into wood. Um, and I've seen a few videos where people are using similar ones. The closest thing I could find to it was the 9903, which is the, again, it's a speed cutting device, but it is quite long. So I'm hoping that will do enough for me um, to be able to get into the wood and do so, some so, sort of deeper carvings. Um, but yeah, that, that's the extra bits I decided to get to start me going. Um, 
I actually want to get a cut sole um, bit because I've seen um, that they are absolutely great. The cut sole or the saber tooth bits for taking out masses of wood. Um, but initially, I'm going to be starting on smaller pieces anyway. So I think these Dremel pieces should do the trick. Um, I'm going to do a few videos um, sort of showing me using them. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, and hopefully we can go on this journey together. Uh, the next video I'm probably going to do is actually with all these bits I've just got, as you can see, it'd be very easy to sort of lose these things. And I know you get these plastic cases from Dremel, um, but I think for the bits and things like that, I think there's an easier way that I can do things, just making one out of wood. So that'll be in the next video. Uh, thanks for tuning in and hopefully I'll speak soon.